Welcome back to another day of art fun. We are going to be doing some similar techniques to yesterday, but we are going to bump those skill levels up even more. So here we go. Once again, lots of scary directions here. I promise it's actually going to be really fun. Um, so here we go. Step one is going to be to open up um, drawings in your Google art folder. When we open it right up in our art folder, it's going to create that drawing in the folder so it's already organized. We're here for that. We want that organization. And then you'll notice that we are going to be renaming this one today. Whoop, there we go. Practice two graphic art drawing. Okay, so that's what we're renaming it. That way if we ever have a hard time finding it, we can just type that in. We all know what it's called. Um, and that way there's no issues. We can search it. Now, let's say you're in your drive and you can't find your art folder. If you simply type in art, it should come up. Now, I'm going to have a whole bunch of art stuff going on here. So um, hopefully for you, there's not quite as much. Just go ahead and click on your art folder and go to new, more, and Google Drawing. And once again, we're titling it Practice to Graphic Art Drawing. Okay? We're ready to go. We're set up. Let's let's start with the first thing, which is going to be adding a shape. I'm just going to start with a smiley face like I did last time. I'm going to make mine nice and big, but remember, you're going to want yours um, to be able to fit five on here. I'm just making it big so it's easier to see in the video. All right. Just like yesterday, when our shape is highlighted, we see all these great tools on our blue toolbar. When we click outside of it, a lot of those tools go away. So if you're ever like, wait a second, where's my fill bucket? Where'd that go? You might need to click on this and it'll come back. Speaking of fill bucket, let's go there. Let's do this. So I'm going to click on that fill color. And yesterday we played around with changing the color, didn't we? Solid colors anyway. What about this? Did you even notice that this is there? It's called gradients. So first off, what is a gradient? Well, a gradient is when, um, so let's say it's the same color. Let's say it's blue. It's going to go from like a light blue to dark blue. Kind of like that ombre effect, right? Or otherwise, a gradient can also include multiple colors. I want you to picture a sunset in your mind, okay? So it might go from like purple to pink, to orange, to yellow, right? And it's like this smooth like transition from one color to the next. That's a gradient. Now, in contrast, what would not be a gradient would be if we looked at the sunset and it was like purple, pink, orange, yellow, and it was like burp, burp. It's not like that, right? It's like it transitions from one color to the next so smoothly we can't tell where one color ends and the next begins, that's a gradient. So that's what we're working with. In fact, let's check some out. So here's a, a blue gradient. You see how it went from being just solid blue to now it's like a light blue in the middle and it gets darker towards those edges. Let's play around with some more. Maybe it goes from like top down, lightest to darkest. So there's, there's lots of options just like in this basic panel, but we can do a lot more. So why don't we, right? Here's what I want you to do with me. Go ahead and click on where it says custom. This is where la, la, la creme de la creme, right? Like where all the good stuff is. So what we can do in here, we can change it from linear to radial. And I want you to watch that preview box over there. Do you see that? Watch what happens when I go to radial. Now it's more like a circle, right? Linear, radial. We can also change the direction of things as well in both linear and radial. So I want you to play around with that. And then maybe my favorite thing about this whole, like all the skills we're going to be building today is the fact that we can add multiple colors on in here too. So down below where it says add gradient, um, or sorry, add stops and it says um, add down below. Click that and it's going to pop up a new circle in here. First, I want you to start off by just moving that circle around on that like line, that gradient line. Okay, play around with that. 
And next I want you to play around with adding a different color in. So maybe I add, I'm going to go with complementary colors here, maybe I add some purple in there. Well, that's fun, right? Look at it, and I can move it around, play with that. Maybe I want it like down here. But maybe I want another stop in there too. Maybe somewhere around here, and I go to even a darker color yet. What? Maybe I don't want it linear anymore. Maybe I want it radial. Okay. Like this is looking cool, right? And you can remove stops, add more in. Maybe I want to go really dark on the outer edges. Maybe all the way to black even. So fun, right? So today, we are going to be playing a lot. Actually, I don't know if I... Now that I'm seeing it on here, that might be a little too much, actually. So maybe I would change that. Maybe we'd try something else here. Bring maybe these colors over more. Give it some more lightness in the center or towards that one edge. Yeah, who knows? Maybe I don't even like it. Maybe I want it from the center, right? Oops, let's go back to that. Um, so maybe from top left, maybe I bring it to the center. Oh, okay, I feel like that's looking good now. So play with this. That's what I'm trying to get at. Like, have fun with playing around with those um, color gradients today. And we're going to do that with five shapes, right? So I'm just going to throw in a couple other shapes real quick. Maybe I do, I don't know, maybe I do a talking bubble. And I'm going to just, I'm going to do this one, a new one. I'm going to make it real quick here. And let's change our, I'm going to get rid of these, so let's remove those stops. I'm just going to start off with our basic yellow, but I'm going to change it to blue. I'm going to change this end color to a darker blue. And I'll add a stop in the middle that's maybe, let's see, what does it look like if we go to white? Kind of white in the middle. Ah, yeah, there we go. That's fun. Okay. So right now, this, well, let's kind of go like that. This thought bubble is now in front of my smiley face. And maybe I don't want it in front of the smiley face. Maybe I wanted it behind the smiley face. So here's what I want you to do for your second challenge today. First one is those color gradients, playing around with that with your five shapes. And the second one is going to be, let's learn how to move things forward and back. Okay. I'm actually going to add one more shape in here just to really prove some different points. Okay. So I'm going to add a, a moon in here. Let's quickly, I'll do my gradient real fast. I'm just going to steal that one just to save us some time. Okay. So maybe I want this thought bubble behind the smiley face, but in front of the moon. Right now, it's definitely not in that order, right? So what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to change that order of how they are on my, on my screen. So I'm going to right click on one of them, like let's say, for example, this, this moon, and I want to, to move it back, okay? So I'm going to right click on it. So if you have a mouse, like an actual mouse, um, not a live one, like a computer mouse. It's real easy. You just simply right click. However, I know not everybody has a mouse. Um, so then you're going to use your mouse pad, your tracking pad on your device, and you use two fingers to click at once on the right hand side, and that should pop up the same menu. Now, if you have the option, maybe you've got a mouse at home that you can connect to your device, whether it's a Bluetooth or a cord one. If you have one, this project is a really good project to get that out for. It's going to make life a lot easier. Um, if not, though, once again, just use your two fingers and kind of like double tap, like tap them both at the same time on your um, tracking pad. Okay. Either way, it's going to pull this up and you'll notice about halfway down our list, it says order. So I can go to order and I can say, maybe I want to send it backward. There we go. Okay. So I've got my thought bubble um, behind my smiley face, but it's still also behind the moon, and oh my goodness, I didn't really want that, so, okay, so what I could do, maybe I, um, let's see, let's try this again, maybe I bring it to the front, okay, so now it's, it's in front of the moon, yay, but it's also in front of the smiley face, <laughs> boo, you'll notice that there's a couple different options, right, we can 
bring to front, bring forward, send to back, and send backward. Here's how I want you to think of it. Now, right now, it's already in the front, so I can't go more front than the front, um, which is why those two are grayed out. But I can go either one step backward or send all the way to the back. Here's how I want you to think of those, because it can get a little confusing if you're new to this. Um, if you're sending it backward, think of it as taking one step back. Okay? You didn't go, like, all the way to that end of the room. You're just, like, a step backward. Whereas if you go send to back, it would be like if I jumped from here all the way back to that wall back there. That would be pretty amazing to see. I wish I could show you an example. Not that skilled though. Sorry. So just think of it though as like going, sending backward is just like a little bit and sending to the back is all the way. Whereas sending forward, you're taking like a step forward and sending to the front would be like way up in there. Sorry if I scared you. That was uncalled for. <laughs> My apologies. So play around with this too. Because when it comes to our dragon eye, you know, we might want to have like scales overlapping and stuff like that. So having the skill of like moving forward and back is going to really help you build your dragon eye the way you want it to look and give you full control. Okay, so let's, oof, let's try this again. So I wanted it so that it's in front of the moon. We got that. But behind the smiley face, there's a couple ways I could do this, but the easiest one from where I'm at right now is just gonna be to take this smiley face and I am going to bring, watch, actually, can I? Okay, let me show you this. So right now, what order did I go in? I went smiley face, cloud, moon. If I bring it forward, I'm gonna guess that it doesn't make a difference, right? Because right now it actually just brought it in front of the moon, but it's not next. To the moon but you can see if I were to move it it is now in front of the moon right um, so now if I wanted it in front of everything I can go order move to front and now for whatever reason how I wanted it it looks how I want it right um, so your job then is going to be to have five of these and to play around with the order we've got one more challenge are you up for it? If you need to take a little break, pause this, and work on just that for right now, go ahead. But the last thing that I want you guys to play with today is super fun. Click on a shape, right click it. This time we're going all the way down the list to where it says format options. Okay, do you see that? Way down here. And it's going to pop up a screen on the very right hand side of our device. These are the two things we want to look at, a drop shadow as well as a reflection. Whoa, did you just see what happened? Watch this. Reflection. Oh, so cool, isn't it? In fact, I'm going to bring my smiley face over here just so you can see even more like the power you have with these things. So maybe I want my reflection to be like almost the whole thing. But maybe I want it to be less opaque, more transparent. Maybe I want there to be a distance between the two. So play around with all of those different features in uh, reflection. Okay, have fun with that. Um, the other thing that I want to show you, I'm actually going to get rid of the reflection just so it's easier to see, is the drop shadow. So right now I have a drop shadow, but it's probably, probably impossible actually to see on the screen because it's very, very tiny. So let's, uh, let's just play around with it a little bit and make it more obvious. Now you can probably see that drop shadow, right? So once again, you can play with the opacity, making it darker or lighter. Let's go somewhere like that. You can play around with the angle of it. What way do we want that shadow to go? Where's the light coming from? The distance that it travels to, the blur radius, as well, like how blurry do we want it to be on those outer edges. So play around with that as well with your five different shapes. So <laughs> if we go back to our instructions, those are the three different skills that I want you to work on today. Gradients, moving it forward and backward, and then also um, your format options like drop shadow and reflections, okay? So do that with five different shapes. Um, I'm going to assume that for a lot of us, we're going to be having some fun with this today. Um, so don't forget to not only record your time for today, 
but also for watching this video or class time, but also pay attention to when you start and finish with your actual practice because I'm going to guess for a lot of us, we are going to be spending a decent chunk of time just playing around with these different things today because it's going to be so much fun. So don't forget to record that and we will see you next time.